Minister of Public Works, the Honorable Desmond Bannister, has given an update on the fire at Bahamas Power and Lights Power Plant in Bimini Monday night, noting that Station B, which has two engines, was damaged beyond repair. He says Station A, which has an additional five generators, remains fully operational, adding that power was restored in Baileytown early Tuesday morning, with South Bimini having power restored by 3 p.m. Now, Minister Bannister says the fire occurred after Bimini was returning to its normal power load after a spike with additional tourists celebrating the Memorial Day weekend. In preparation for the holiday, EPL had stepped up maintenance checks and brought in additional generation in Bimini. The same generation, as well as the other existing units in Station A, are now being put to use to carry the loading for the island. While the fire was still ongoing, units in Station A was started to provide lighting. Once now, Minister Bannister says BPL is working with about 8.5 megawatts of generation, which meets the island's normal power demands. This capacity is more than adequate to meet the normal demand on the island. As soon as the fire authorities and insurers complete their investigation, BPL anticipates that, will, that it will augment generation capacity and the fire suppression systems in Bimini so as to ensure that a reliable power supply is available for the upcoming July 4th holiday period. Indeed, a team led by the acting chief operating officer is scheduled to travel to Houston this week to view load testing of available generational units.